autumn is the perfect time for spotting fungi, but with so many varieties here in the wild in the UK, it's hard to know which ones are edible and which ones we should definitely leave to Alice in Wonderland. We're off on a fungi foray. Fungi, what are you know? They've got their own kingdom, haven't they? They have indeed. There are there are three main kingdoms and others as well. There's the plants and the animals and the fungi. They feed just like animals on other organic material. So okay. dead, usually dead material, but sometimes living. In which case they're parasites. So they're decomposing material in the ground, wood, rotting it, that sort of thing. Okay, so they're actually really important to us. Absolutely vital. I mean, without them, we just couldn't exist, literally, because they complete the cycle. Interesting. Yeah, they, um, the, the plants make the food, animals eat some of it, but not very much of it. Yeah. And then we need the fungi to decompose the plants to make the minerals okay. and the carbon dioxide available again. In Norfolk, there are about 3,200 uh, at the moment. About half of those are large enough for anyone to say, well, it's a fungus. I don't know what it is, but it's a fungus. Uh, the other half, you need to look a bit more closely, spots and dots on leaves and that sort of thing. So that's, uh, in Britain, probably about 10,000 species. I think I've spotted one here. Oh, what have you got there? Can you pick it? Uh, okay. Ooh, at the base. Ah. Yep. Look at that! Wow, this is Lovely a baby. Thick stalk. This, this is this is a baby. Um, it won't grow up now, will it? No. Oh. It's it's a bolete. It doesn't have gills. What it does have is tubes under the cap, and the spores are produced on the inside of the tubes, and then they just drop down. Works in the same way as gills, but they look very different. So it looks rather spongy underneath. You yeah. can't quite see the little holes because it's so small. Yeah. Um, at this stage, it it, uh, it it'll be good and edible. So take that one home. All right, super. I'll put Thank it in the basket. Yes, and you take it later. Let's see what else we can find. Yep. And it's oh my a stool from fairy tales. It's a fly agaric. It's beautiful. It's a splendid one. It's in good condition because those spots on the top, um, they're not really spots. They're, they're fragments of a membrane. And as the fungus grows, it bursts through the membrane and the membrane breaks up and leaves those little spots. So they will peel off. It looks But that's, that's in a really good condition, yeah. And um, I know that these are poisonous. They are poisonous. So really they shouldn't be in fairy tales, should they? <laughs> uh, well, I think fairy tales often are a little bit about the sinister. Um, they're not, they are poisonous and they'd make you ill if you ate them, but there are very few cases of people dying through eating them. Okay. A few years ago, a committee was formed to invent names for initially a thousand, but it's now 1,400. So, can you tell us some fun names? Fun names, hmm. A hairy Curtain Crust, a Scurfy Twiglet, Death Cap, Earth Stars. Talking of Star Wars, Tony, these bracket fungi look similar to the Starship Enterprise, <laughs> don't they? I look at the shape. Do. I've never ever thought of that. <laughs> now I know them as either birch polypores or razor strop fungus. Right. And the reason it's called razor strop is that uh, in the days of cutthroat razors that we use for shaving, slices of this bracket fungus would be taken, thin slices, dried, and glued onto um, a flat surface, a wooden board. Yeah. And then they were used to take the very fine edge, put the very fine edge onto the razors as really? the last they stropped. That's backwards fantastic. And forwards. So fungi are everywhere, even in the air that we breathe. But when it comes to edibles, you can grow your own mushrooms at home in an already made kit for you. And if you do go out looking for fungi and you can't identify what you've found, don't risk eating it. So enjoy autumn and see what fungi you can find. Yeah.